Here is a new version of an internet radio implemented with ESP32. If you watched my last video, you might have noticed this one looks similar to the last one. This one is the fourth version of my ESP32 internet radio. haven't watched the last video, I highly recommend you do, because you will have a general idea about what I'm doing in this series of videos. The big difference in this version is that I replaced the universal PCB board with a manufactured PCB board just designed for this purpose. Now, let me guide you through and see how I build this version of the ESP32 Internet Radio. Let's go! Before we start, let me introduce a PCB manufacturer for you. PCB GoGo. -Go. PCB GoGo -Go is quick turn PCB prototype manufacturer from China with over 10 years of operation in the industry. They make prototype PCBs as fast as 24 hours. You can upload your Gerber file on PCBGoGo.com to make your own PCB. Their services are reliable and affordable, certified by UL and ISO. This video is sponsored by PCBGoGo. The major purpose for this upgrade is to design a PCB to make the wiring less messy. Since I had a little experience with the KiCad, it is not that hard to start a project to make an extension hat. I selected and put all the symbols for pin headers I needed. I wired up all the pin headers to complete the schematics. And after that, I converted it into the PCB. As you can see, it's not a complicated schematics, so tracing is relatively easy. After all work done in KiCad, I just uploaded the Gerber file to PCBGoGo, -Go, and they will take care of the rest. As always, PCBGoGo -Go is doing a great job. All arrived PCBs look great. Now it's my turn to solder all the parts. Let's get the work done. As I introduced in other videos, when you solder pin headers, it's a little bit tricky. Attach your pin headers to some other already soldered extension board will be convenient and helpful. By the way, soldering is always relaxing and fun. Feels like a therapy to me. But make sure you circulate the air during the soldering and don't poison yourself. new build, I need a new case, so I printed all the parts I needed again. I also made some small modifications you might not notice. As same as the last version, I used heat set insert nuts to fix all my parts. It's quite a lot of them. Let's just roll forward this part. Thank you. 
power supply, I use a mobile battery to provide 5 volt voltage. Here's how I did it. Now the battery holder is completed. Next, let's prepare the case. Now let's put the parts together. This time we have a PCB, so there will be less soldering than last time. Okay, we're close to finish. Now let's prepare the RGB LED mount and the speaker mount.
Well, I guess we're done here. Since the pin header for the display collector is taking the space underneath the speaker, I have to use spacer to make speaker mount higher. It's not as compact as I expected. However, I already had a plan B. I mean, version 5. Oh, did I just say version 5? I guess that's all for today's video. As you might guess, there is already a version 5 for this. In the next video, I will share some experience of how I made this complicated PCB, what I failed, and what I learned. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and won't miss the next video. See you next time!